welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek in this video we will see that how you can install windows 10 and 11 as a dual boot without using any kind of usb so let's say if you're using windows 11 and you also want to use windows 10 as a dual boot or if you're using windows 10 and want to use windows 11 as a dual boot so the next time when you start the computer you can get both the option that you want to start the computer with windows 10 or windows 11 then you can easily do it without using any kind of usb so let's quickly get started the first thing that you will have to do you need to download windows 10 or 11 iso whichever you want to dual boot for example i'm using windows 11 here so i will be dual booting another operating system as windows 10. so you will have to come to this microsoft official website for windows 11 you can download the disk image iso file from here and from windows 10 you can download from here okay so once you have downloaded you can see i have a downloaded file here so what you will have to do next right click on the iso file then click on mount and once it will be mounted you will get this kind of page with all the windows 10 or 11 files okay now you can minimize it now make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on disk management so now in this step we have to create a virtual hard disk so that we can load windows 10 or 11 on that particular hard drive so for that click on action then click on create vhd now this will ask you the location that where exactly you want to create it so click on browse from the left in menu option click on this pc go to local disk c Make a right click, pour up to new, choose folder, name it as VHDX, select it, then click on open. Now I am installing Windows 10, so I will name it as Windows 10. If you are installing Windows 11, then you can rename it as Windows 11. Click on save. Now it's asking for the size. So click the drop down and choose to GB. And depending that how much space you have, available in your drive you can take out the space make sure that you keep at least 10 gigabyte free space on your c drive or else there will be some kind of problem all right i don't have enough space so i will only take 30 gigabyte just to show you that how exactly it work but it's recommended that you should at least take 60 gigabyte of space now below it will ask you virtual hard disk format so select the second option that is vhdx then click on ok so once the disk has been created you can see it says unknown with a red color icon so what you will have to do you need to make a right click on this disk that we just created then click on initialize disk click on ok now you can see 29.98 gb is unallocated so make a right click on it choose new simple volume click on next next now you can rename this drive letter whatever you want to I will rename it like K, then click on next, next and finish. So now we have successfully created a virtual hard disk. And once it's been created, minimize it. Click on your Windows search, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, choose run as administrator, then click on yes. The black window will be up. Now here you will have to type few command that you will also find in the description or you can manually type as I'm going to type here. So the first command will be DISM space forward slash get dash WIM info space forward slash WIM file colon. And now here you have to paste the source path of Windows 10 or 11 ISO. For that bring up your file explorer. Open this drive that we just mounted of iso click on sources now copy this path go back to the black window make a right click and paste it give a back forward slash and now here you have to enter the source file name so again go back to the sources folder mm -hmm. now if you're using the windows 10 iso then you will be getting install dot wim but if you're trying to install windows 11 then you will be getting install dot esd Okay, so whatever the name is, go back to the black window and type it install.wim. Hit the enter key. 
now once you hit the enter key it will show you all the available addition ready to download okay so now here we want to download windows 10 pro so that is index 6 so the next command will be dism space forward slash apply hyphen image that is dash image space forward slash image file colon and then you have to paste the path of that iso location to bring up your file explorer double click on it copy this path make a right click paste it give a back for a slash and now here you have to type install.wim if you are installing windows 10 and install.esd if you are installing windows 11 so i will type install dot wim now do not get confused only the change that you have to make for windows 10 install dot wim and for windows 11 you have to type install dot esd give a space for a slash index colon now type the index number so we are installing windows 10 pro that is index 6 so type 6 give a space and then type apply dir colon and then you need to paste the path of that drive that virtual disk that you created this one that we just created double click copy the path go back make a right click paste it and now hit the enter key so now the deployment will be started now this may take some time so you will have to wait here all right so let's wait here until it's all been completed all right so finally it's been done and it says the operation completed successfully so we are only remaining with the final command that will be making a bootable file so that the next time without usb we can get the bootable screen so you will have to type here b c d boot space and now go back to that virtual drive that you just created double click on it then click on windows now copy this path make a right click and paste it hit the enter key again and it says boot file is successfully created so now you are all done and now the next time when you start the computer it will ask you choose an operating system so either i can go with windows 10 or windows 11 whichever i wish to so this is how you can quickly create dual boot of windows 10 and 11 without using any kind of usb hopefully guys you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye